For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of a review video on a product from Camper. So this is the Camper Dometic Pro Windbreak. So the Pro Windbreak comes in two models. They do like a pole version and the air. So today I'm going to talk about the pole version. We've got a separate video for the air if you're interested in that. The Pro Windbreak has been around now for oof, probably about five, six years. So something that's been in the range for quite a long time. And it doesn't really change much going forward into 2020 season, but with one big addition. So traditionally you had the Pro 5 and also the Pro 3. Now they're introducing a Pro 1. As the name suggests, it's one panel rather than three panels or five panels. I generally think it'd be a quite a nice addition to the range. It's not something that you probably see many people buying on their own, more to add and to their already existing Pro Win Breaks. So the only way you might buy one is you would buy two and then buy a door between just to create a bit more of a sort of an enclosure. The overall sizes are, haven't really changed going forward. So um, the Pro 1 is about 1 meter, uh, 1 meter 53. The Pro 3 total length is uh, 4 meter 60. And then the 5 is 735. So you've got your, get, your spacing up there. But I think the one thing that the 1 does really offer well is the ability to add the door in places where you want to. So you, now there's more use for the door than provisionally. You know, previously you used to have to either buy a five and a three to even just think about using the door, which makes the enclosure, ma the enclosure massive, and also it wouldn't be particularly very cost effective. Even buying for two threes would make you a really decent sized enclosure, but again, cost point, point not really worth the extra door. So the extra panels arranged works quite nicely. Yet again, it's just a single panel on its own, about the same width as the range, so you could have it in a situation that looks quite smart. Generally, you've got a bit of a cater pre-attached there, which can, you can use to attach the door. Alternatively, feed that straight into the side of the caravan, and then you've got a really nice torsion point to go on. As you can see, it fits. It can get it nice and close to the ground to create a bit more of enclosure. It's not like the air version where there's a nice solid beam on there to stop any dogs getting out. But I think generally it works quite nicely. There's still pegging points to kind to keep that down and um, stop the wind from getting underneath it. It's a, in the pro fabric, so it matches the, the awning collection really nicely. Um, and yet again, same with the colour schemes, you've got a great sort of PVC window to get good clarity as well. Aluminium frame throughout it, so you've got an aluminium bar running along the top um, and across each section. And you can actually, because this point articulates, you can bring this panel in and out as you want to. So you can kind of miss make shape it to wherever you want to. And the added benefit of having uh, aluminium yet again gyrat points with an adjuster to alter the height, sort of the well, the distance if you want away, means that you can create an enclosure and not have any gyrats on the inside. So yet again, that's one of the big beneficials of these kind of wind breaks is that you make it to whatever shape you want and then maximize the area inside of it. Like so with the, the Situation with the, the one and the three I've got here, I've got the interconnecting door. The door is roughly about a meter wide, so it gives you plenty of space. And actually, it attaches onto the beading, which, you know, the cader, with through a figure of eight clip quite happily. And the door is an optional extra, which you buy as and when you need to. On the opposite side here, you've got two clips just to keep kind of the zip, the zip nice and safe. And then the zip runs from the bottom up to the top and detaches like so. And then you can happily, if you want to, roll that back. There's a little toggle point of restraint there, just to mean you can leave it open, it's not gonna flap in the wind, keeps it a bit more neat and tidy. And then when you want to, you know, tuck yourself in at night as such, just make sure the zip's all together. I'll then attach onto there. And then you're in, and then you've got those little clips, like I said, just to take a bit more resistance off the zip and just kind of keep it all neat and tidy. But quite a smart thing, again, because you've got the aluminium poles, it's pretty much rock solid. You try and pull on that, and that's going absolutely blimmin' nowhere. You know, and that's the joys of even sort of size, torsionally that way, you've got a good amount of strength. But I think it works well with the range, and some we can check out more information on our website uh, in the link below if you wanted to see more about it, or check out our previous videos on the model um, that we've done, just sort of explaining about it all, and that way you can probably get a bit more better idea about the the five, but I think going forward, the one's a good, you know, a good mixture. And I think you can certainly see if you've already got a pro windbreak, adding the one to it just means that 
you have a little bit more extra versatility on creating the area you want to. I, 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 you know, in theory, what you could do if you don't want to buy, if you've already got a five, you only want two panels, in theory, you could just buy two ones, interconnect them with a figure of eight clip, and then you can just make it panel by panel bigger as you want to go. But that's our little video review on the Pro Windbreak. Like so check more information uh, via our link below, and by all means, let us know what you think. But that's kind of our uh, video on the uh, Camper Dometic, the Pro 1, the Pro 3, and the Pro 5 Windbreak.